and welcome to Warwickshire Open Studios Art Weeks from Home. My name's Alex Almond and I'm a printmaker from Coventry. I thought I'd share with you today some really easy printmaking techniques that you might want to try at home. So whether you're 3, 300 or 33, it's time to get creative. So let's go and find some bits and bobs that we need and get cracking. So usually I create lino cuts. A lino cut is a form of relief printmaking where you take away any of the spaces that you don't want the ink to be able to go into. So anywhere that stays raised, that's where the ink will take onto the block and will print. Anything that's cut away will give you white. So here you can see on the alpaca, all of these different marks that are here come out white on the print and the tools that we use to cut come in lots of different shapes so you can have a u-shaped cutter or you could have some very large or some very small v-shaped cutters and they're what are used to actually gouge away or take out the material so this is a traditional lino print and this one here is cut into what's called a japanese vinyl Okay, so what we're going to be making is a block print. So it's the same as um, lino cut, this printing process. It's a relief printing process, which means that anything that sticks up from the background is what the ink's going to be on, and that's going to create our print. Anything that's um, flat, like the background itself, that isn't going to take the ink, so it won't print. So we're going to use this to create um, an abstract print today, you can use it as a repeating pattern. Um, so I've got my cardboard, scissors, glue, um, PVA glue is really good for this, but I haven't got any at home. Um, and also I'm using a water soluble block printing colour, but um, poster paint will work just as well. So I'm going to create a square kind of base to my print. Um, and then I'm going to cut some shapes out to stick onto the top of this. So, off we go. Okay, so my next job now is to get the shape stuck down onto the printing block. Okay, so our next step is to add the ink to the block. So I'm going to think I use the blue and the yellow. Um, and for this I'm just going to paint the ink straight onto the shapes. And our next job is to print. So I'm just going to turn it upside down. that's how to create a nice simple block print to be able to print at home. You can also use lots of different shapes, lots of different colours, um, but what about if you wanted to do something a little bit more adventurous?
So there's a couple of ways of making simple but effective block prints from home. Hopefully you'll find the time over the next couple of days to give it a go and I'd love to see what you've made. I hope you've really enjoyed watching the video. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you continue to enjoy Warwick Shrove and Studios Arts Weeks from Home.